morning everyone look at this guy and how snazzy he looks salute those who are currently fighting for our freedom. 
Warren-Terrorism has helped us all realize how truly unique the American way of life is. The freedom we enjoy is extremely special, and that is why we must have done it. Kind of going back to, you know, when I joined the Marines back in 2005, uh, a few years earlier, I a senior in high school, I distinctly remember that it was 2001, September 11th. And when the first plane hit the, hit the towers in New York City, all the televisions were on in my school. And I was sitting there in class watching as the second plane hit. And then hearing that the Pentagon was hit. And hearing again that another plane went down in Pennsylvania and wrapped up who knows where. When those events happened on that day, I felt something inside me spark. It was, it was a flame, a desire to serve my country, to do something, to be a part of something greater. You know, watching, watching all those helpless civilians you know, perish in those deadly attacks, I couldn't just stand on the sidelines and, and watch all this come down. So a few years later, in 2005, I decided to answer that call. I joined the United States Marines. In 2006, you know, Pretty much right when I got to my first duty station in 29 Palms, I volunteered to go to Iraq. I raised my hand, they asked me who wants to go. I raised my hand, I said, I want to go. And six months later, there I was, boots on the ground in the sands of Iraq. Did some cool stuff there, but one of the biggest things that no one realizes is how great we do have in the United States. You know, going to Iraq and seeing how they live there, you really do take for granted the freedoms that we have the freedoms that are provided by us, our veterans, that pay that ultimate sacrifice and defend our way of life. So, came back from Iraq and just kind of you know, did my thing, got out of the Marine Corps in 2010 ish. Around that time, though, that's when Afghanistan started to pick back up. And again, I found myself, I found that desire to get back in there, get back in that fight. Again, I couldn't stay on the sidelines again. So I joined the United States Army at that point. I joined probably one of the most dangerous jobs as an infantryman, because I wanted to get there on the front lines. I, I wanted to do my part. Now, some, some might say fortunate for me, I actually haven't had the opportunity to go to Afghanistan, but you know what? I've trained, I've trained soldiers that have gone and, and fought that fight. And those soldiers have laid their lives down on the line for me and for all of you standing so I want to thank all those guys that I have trained you know, to defend all of our freedom. But again, today, today is a day that we honor everyone that, that answered that call, that had that fire, that, that desire to serve our country. And I hope that uh, all of you, you know, whether it's joining the military or not, you know, do do something, do something to to take advantage of the freedoms that we have, you know, honor that freedom, do something good for the community. Wrapping things up, I'm gonna finish with the rest of the speech that really touches home to, to myself as well. The defense of freedom is not just for those in the military. Each of us shares that duty and responsibility. And we don't have to join the Army or the Navy or any other organization of defense to actively defend our right of life. We can protect our freedom simply by maintaining it here in America. If we want to preserve our freedoms, we must put them into action. For example, by voting in elections and speaking out against injustices. We must also ensure that everyone feels the benefits of freedom. We can do that by volunteering in our communities and teaching our children what it really means to be in America. Veterans Day isn't just a, isn't just a day for veterans. It is a day for all Americans. It is a day to remember why we were fighting and a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedoms of many future generations. So thank you for honoring our veterans day. Let us walk towards tomorrow still honoring them by living in the freedom they protect. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.